Jungle Drums by Graham Bass. This is Nagiri Modogo. Small, isn't he? He's the smallest warthog in Africa. These are the bigger warthogs. They tease Nagiri about being so small, but that's only because they're jealous of the other animals who live across the river. With their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. And here are the other animals who live across the river. Aren't they just gorgeous? Every year the other animals hold a grand parade with prizes for the most beautiful. The warthogs don't even bother entering. Mud wrestling isn't on the program. Tired of being teased, Ngiri heads across the river to play with the other animals. They are arguing amongst themselves about who is the most beautiful. They turn and stare at Ngiri. No spots, laughs Chewy the leopard. No stripes, whinnies Punda Mile the zebra. Look at those silly little horns, snorts Kifaru the rhino. He hasn't even got a trunk, trumpets Tembo the elephant. Or a neck, scoffs Twiga the giraffe. Isn't he just the ugliest thing you've ever seen, crows Nege, the crested crane. And small too. And they all laugh out loud. Ngiri heads for home. He is not happy. On the way, he meets old Nyumbu, the wildebeest, the oldest and wisest animal in the jungle. I hate being so small, he tells her. Everyone teases me. Old Nyumbu gets out a little set of bongos. These are magic drums, she says. If you play them, they will give you whatever you wish for. Do you want them? Oh, yes, cries Ngiri. I do. And he takes the drums in eager hoofs. Old Nyumbu has a twinkle in her eye. Just remember, she says, wishes can come true, but not always as you expect. And she gently fades into the bushes. The sound of jungle drums throbs through the night. But in the morning, despite all his wishing, little Ngiri is still exactly the same. Then he hears a commotion in the jungle. The other animals have woken to find their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage have all disappeared. And they are very upset about it. The warthogs, meanwhile, have woken up with stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage, and they think they look just fabulous. Here's Ngiri Madogo, they laugh as he trots up, small as ever and oh so plain. But we are just like the other animals now. We're going to enter the grand parade and teach them a lesson in jungle style. When the other animals learn on the jungle grapevine that the warthogs are going to enter the grand parade, they are horrified. <gasps> Look at us, they cry in dismay. Those awful warthogs will win every prize. It will be a complete disaster. They try making fake markings out of sticks and grass and coloured mud, but it all washes off in the evening downpour. The warthogs parade along the riverbank in their newfound finery. You stole our markings, yell the other man animals. Give them back. They're not your markings, they're ours, snort the warthogs. They fell from the sky and now we are the most beautiful animals in the jungle. They belong to us, growl the other animals. And if you don't give them back before the grand parade, 
We will come and take them. Poor Ngiri, what has he done? The wild African moon comes up and jungle drums beat out again across the savannah. It's still dark as Ngiri creeps over to where the other animals are sleeping. He breathes a sigh of relief to see stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. But then the animals stir and sit up. <gasps> the markings are on the wrong animals. It's the warthogs who've done this, cry the other animals. They've put a spell on us. And they stomp off angrily across the river. Meanwhile, the warthogs are in a terrible state. What's happened to my nose? What's happened to my neck? How can I roll in the mud with all these feathers? I can't run with this great long trunk. I'll end up as someone's dinner for sure. The warthogs have become even more like the other animals they admire so much. <gasps> They've put a spell on us and they stomp off angrily across the river. What have you done to us? demand the warthogs. What have you done to us? demand the other animals. Everyone is shouting at once. Stop it! cries Ngiri Modogo in a squeaky voice. It was me! All the animals stop and look at him in amazement. He shows them the magic drums. I made a wish, well, two wishes in fact, but they went wrong. I wanted you to all stop teasing me, but I didn't mean for you to start fighting. Why can't you all be happy the way you are? Because we look ridiculous, says everyone together. We want to be the way we were. Well, says Ngiri thoughtfully, if you'd all be happier that way, I suppose I could try making one more wish. For a third time, the sound of jungle drums echoes through the still night air. As the sun rises over the rim of the world, the warthogs and the other animals wake and look around with relief. Oh, they are all back to normal. But Ngiri Modogo sighs. After all that trouble, he is still exactly the same. The smallest warthog in Africa. Something has changed though. No one is teasing him anymore. The bigger warthogs and the other animals look at, look at Ngiri, then at each other. Then they shrug. So what if he's the smallest? Someone has to be. That evening, the grand parade goes ahead as usual. The other animals who live across the river show off their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. The warthogs clap and cheer. Then the warthogs put on a mud wrestling display, including a very clever mud pyramid with a mud fountain and the other animals clap and cheer. Then Ngiri does a drum solo, but is very careful not to wish for anything just in case. And everyone claps and cheers. And the night is a roaring success. The end.